Do you want your maths classes to be more engaging? Or would you like to be able to talk more in maths and learn from your peers? Well, the resource that we're going to have a look at in this video is perfect for you. Hi, my name's Tom Moore. And in this video, we're going to have a look at a fantastic activity called Fraction Talks, which has been written by Dan Finkel at Math for Love. Now, Dan's actually also written a number of our rich lessons at Maths Pathway. And in Fraction Talks, we are going to think about maths and talk about maths in a way that you wouldn't have guessed. So, you can see that this image here up on the screen has got a number of different colours and squares. But before we go any further with that, I want to talk about what mathematicians do and how they communicate. When communicating, mathematicians are both critical and convincing. That is, when they're being critical, they're asking questions such as, why is that the case? Or, can you explain it in another way? And then when being convincing, they're putting forward arguments that are both short and sharp and to the point, but also that are robust and can hold up against any kind of critical arguments that come their way. So when you have a look at this image, my question for you is, what is it that you see? For example, I can see a region that is 4 by 6, that is 24 squares, and part of that is purple. Now, I wonder how much of that is purple? Well, I can see that 12 squares are purple, so therefore it's 12 out of 24 parts of purple. Now, the critical part of me should be asking, well, can I explain it in another way? Or why is that the case? How do I know that 12 out of 24 is purple? So, my challenge for you is to have a look at the image and have a chat with the person next to you, but remember to be both critical and convincing when doing so. So, make sure you press pause, have a go, and then come back to us when you're done. So how'd you go? I bet you when you went through and had the conversation that there were lots of different answers and responses that you came up with. And if you did it well, you would have been both critical and convincing when communicating with each other. And that's what mathematics is all about. Not just maths, but actually being able to put forward an argument and explain your thinking. Don't forget, subscribe and like and comment below. Also, if you want to see how you can extend this task for your students, you can either click on the video here or on the link in the description. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.